Hey guys, what is going on? It is Tabogi here once again, and I just got back from camping, and it was a pretty amazing experience. <laughs> it was really hot, a lot of sun, a lot of coldness, a lot of tears, <laughs> but it was it was a lot of fun, and I wanted to go ahead and I guess share it with you guys a little bit. Um, the first night, it was pretty crazy. Um, we got there around like 6 or 7, and it was really dark, and we were trying to cook. I had meat cooking duty, which was awesome. It was amazing. First night camping. Oh yeah, it's done. Got meat this cooking duty. Checking the meat now. Aww. Oh wow. Oh that's good. Mm, thank you, Jen. That was really good. Just pretty much cooking those wieners up, you know. After that, Wendy showed us how to make pita pizzas, and that was pretty sweet. If you guys don't know what pita pizzas are, pita pizzas are. Uh, they're pretty much just the pita bread, and then you cut it in half, and you just fill it like a pizza. You put cheese, sauce, pepperonis, and then you just wrap it in foil, and you throw it in the fire, and you let it cook for about 30 minutes or so. And it's just really delicious, you know. It's like a pita pizza. Yeah, that's exactly what it was. Um, so if you guys did not know, I was there with about 10 other people, nine other people, ten including me, so there's a lot of people. And uh, the first night was really brutal. Um, we've tried to fit ten people in one tent, and it was a pretty big tent, but you know, ten people in one area in general is just crazy. That's like ten people in this room. I would probably die. It was not hot. You know, I, I was expecting it to be hot in the tent, right? Just hot, clammy, sweaty, just smelling like pure man bear pig. But inside the tent, it was freezing, all right? It was just so cold. And on top of that, I was laying on like five or seven rocks. I don't know why. You know, when you're camping, you don't even know if you're sleeping or not. You know, you're, you're that, in that area between reality and dreams. First night was really hard. <laughs> Here camping out in Granby, Colorado. It's really pretty actually. And as you guys can see here, just the view is really great. Um, cannot get this anywhere else right here. I I don't know, I, I really like to get away from the city. It's just it's so nice out here. The, the water, the water, the air, everything is just so clean. Right over there is the outhouse as you can see, so far away. It's just a, it's just a hike to get there. People all around us, of course. Thank goodness the bears. Got a few cars here. We got 10 people here with us. And uh, the first night, guys, it was so hard to sleep. Um, this is our tent, as you guys can see here. And <laughs> you got some people just hanging out next to the fire, just trying to cook some breakfast here. Right now we are washing some fruit. It looks, it looks very caveman style there. Got 10 of our friends, it's, it's a pretty good time. I'm still not sure how we fit 10 people in this tent. But it's, it's a pretty big tent. Now let me try to give you a little tour of inside. You know, whenever you're camping and whenever you're sleeping in a tent, you're always, for some reason, on a rock, and it's it's really bad. Let me... <sighs> yeah, this was this was our first night, and it was a battle. He's trying to start a fire with probably flint and coal. All right, do it. I'm gonna catch it in my mouth. Ow. Oh. <laughs> caught in my neck. That's always good too. It's a blueberry. That's what we eat in the wild. You know, we don't, we don't have, oh, that's really sour. I tried asking a few people on how they slept. Um, I asked Nikki, of course. Nikki, how did you sleep last night? I think I slept. One of those nights where you don't know if you slept. And you actually slept right there in that corner. I did. Right there. Propped a squat and you slept. <laughs> I'm so much taller than you right now. Well, that's because you're standing on a... I like... Huh? <laughs> and I asked Choi and Jen. Uh, Choi slept in a very interesting way. We got a few girls walking back from our campsite. Yep, yep. Jen and Choi. How, how, did, you, uh, how did you feel <laughs> sleeping outside in the cold? I was just waiting die. for the night to end. Yeah. Jen was like, waiting for the oh, night to end. The sun comes out. Yeah. It, it's so cold. It looked really cold in the car. I, I looked out the window and you were just kind of, your head was on the steering wheel. <laughs> oh, really? <laughs> yeah, I'm like, oh. <laughs> oh, goodness. Yeah. I'm dying. I'm dying. Dying awesome. pain. But, um, awesome night. Yeah, it was, it was an awesome night. Definitely bonds were made. We got a little bit closer with everyone. Ten of us all in one tent, you know. You can't get 
closer than that. I still don't know how she fell asleep like that, but you know, it's, it's always the curiosity that kills the cat. So um, the, the next night though, she did sleep in the tent. Thank goodness she didn't die out there, but um, just the way she was describing it made me lol raffle all over the floor. But what seemed to be like the most challenging part actually uh, was starting the fire. For some odd reason, you know, we didn't really start the fire the smart way. Douse the wood with lighter fluid and throw a match in there while you're walking away with a cigarette in your mouth. Alright, well, I'm gonna see how he's doing starting the fire here. He's trying to do the good old flint and steel method. What is it? Magnesium. Magnesium. I see smoke. I don't think you're doing it right there. <laughs> We also have a lighter. Ask your fans. <laughs> ask, ask them how to how to light yeah. a fire. They'll just say Tayway, you know, just just douse it in lighter fluid and then light it with the lighter. <laughs> that's that's the only way to do it. While you're out camping though, guys, there's like no TV, right? No computer. Your phones are dead. So I could say we were a little bit bored. <laughs> there it is. We were trying to find ways to keep entertained, and it was entertaining trying to be entertained, I guess. Jen, you should put that on if it doesn't. Oh, I don't know. It's kind of it kind of smells bad. Yeah. There it is. There it is. It, oh yeah. Yeah. So that was pretty beast. I'm not gonna lie. Thank you. You're welcome. Don't hurt yourself. All right. I want to see you chop that your bearing. Oh, here it goes. One more swipe. Yeah. Yeah. Mhm. Mm oh my gosh. Getting wedged. This is always smart. Two guys, one axe. You always just wait to see which is the first one to lose the limb. It's gonna try to make this jump. Oh, pretty good. Let's see how the others do. Here's Peter. Coming up, trying to get the wind up. I don't know if he's gonna make it. Oh, he makes it. But definitely just getting away for a bit, getting in the wilderness, you know, just being in nature, getting away from the city, the pollution. It's really nice. It was a really great experience. Uh, I'm really glad that I got to go out camping this weekend. One sucky thing though, fishing didn't really work out too well for me. So uh, we just attempted fishing and it is so shallow right now. There is no water anywhere in this Granby. Uh, right all around here, um, there's supposed to be water, supposed to be. I should actually be standing inside water right now. It's like all desert though. That's the problem. So fishing trip was a failure, but that's okay. I got to eat lots of sunflower seeds, soak up in the sun, get my tan on. Yeah, I think I think I really did enjoy camping. It was it was a lot of fun. Definitely a lot of fun. Was it fun? There it is. <laughs> yes, it was fun. All right, guys, and I just want to say thank you so much for all of your birthday wishes on this past weekend, the camping weekend. It was my birthday, so it was, a lot, it was really cool. Um, Tammy got me this awesome cake, actually, and uh, we all sang happy birthday. And that was really surprised because I didn't was I wasn't expecting cake. Like, how do you bring a cake up to the mountains? You know, but she apparently like put in a cooler and everything, and it was really awesome. Thank you so much, Tammy. That was great. It, it was a nice surprise. You know, I wasn't expecting it. And you guys also are very awesome. Awesome. Thank you so much for all your birthday wishes and uh, thanks for watching guys. I hope you enjoyed um, this little update video and I am super tired right now. I feel like jet lag hit me even though we just traveled like two hours. I just feel like I'm, I'm just drained. I'm not used to the sun. So anyways, this has been Deboki. Thank you so much for watching and we'll be seeing you guys later. There it is.